right hello everyone and welcome welcome to a new game humankind has basically just released a few days ago and uh, i've been really really wanting to try it out so uh, i've decided that maybe it is a good idea to stream straight away through our entire mistakes and learnings a uh, metropolis campaign which is uh, i think the normal difficulty uh, before I go into any of the crazy series, which of course I will eventually try because I just like that type of pain, um, I really want to go through the whole game once, at least to see everything it has to offer, and then we'll see how to improve our tactics for the future. I like the little bit of corniness coming from the second highest difficulty called Civiliz Civilization, and the highest one being Humankind. That's that's on the nose, but I love it. So, pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna play in a large world, which is default, a normal pace, which is default, and with six opponents, which is also default. Let's begin. So, this game works quite differently from Civilization and quite similarly from Civilization as well. Of course, being a 4x game, many of the same systems work similarly. Um, tiles have value, uh, resources are found on tiles, you have units to control, but the world is divided into more subspaces, actually called territories. You can only have one outpost per territory. I still don't know exactly what this means, but uh, uh, in general uh, it's not as easy to claim everything you see uh, for yourself, but rather you have to be very picky about where you go, where you land, and what you get out of it. Uh, what I did learn, because I had a one hour run, I guess, so far, in order to see if I would be able to move, uh, is that you don't even begin with a city. You begin with a tribe of nomads, because humankind, of course, started at that point. Uh, so you have to expand the success of your tribe through the land, and uh, eventually you get to form your first outposts, which are not even cities. And the cities only come when you escape the Neolithic Age, uh, either by success or victory. I am going to skip this cinematic because it's long and uh, it's always... A new era, a new epoch. While your tribe looks to you for leadership, the weight of all those future, unborn generations also weighs upon your decisions. What sort of lives will they have? All right, so the first things you can see is uh, there are on purpose multiple levels of elevation. These are not hill tiles as it would be in civilization, uh, but it's actually really important to keep these in mind because not only is pathing complicated, um, when you attack from above to below, there is always a bonus. So it's important to keep that in mind. Each tile that you see here, for example, this 3-3 three, three, and a 3 here and so on, um, they are all immediately granted to its neighboring city. So if we were to settle, for example, here, eventually, uh, we would immediately get this, and then we could work on in this tile later. So those are things to take into account. However, I'm not entirely sure about this. However, I think it's always a better idea to leave some, uh, some buffer, for example, if we were to go here, and then create a building expanding over here, and that building would grab the neighboring tiles as well. I am not entirely sure what the best strategy still is in this game, but we are for sure going to investigate all of the things that we can. Another thing that I love is that uh, normally you have a lot of actions, four as you can see, that sometimes crossing rivers, especially through forests, is just very, very costly. So, sometimes that's all you can do. But they have four movement otherwise. So, let's go here. Aha, here we begin. While we are a nomadic tribe, the best we can do is obviously move around and find sources of food. Delicious. Though next time, it might be better if you washed it first. For sure. So, these things are called curiosities. And we just found nuts. Nuts provide us ten... Um, than food on our hunting party. But what's more important is that when we create enough food through exploration of locations, 
we would be granted a free second tribe that we could then spread out and use for a different purpose. Alright, I see horses, I see also that we ran out of action. Horses which we cannot really make use of yet, it's important to keep them in mind because I may want to catch them later. And here we go. Onward. Wow, is it really that costly to go through the river? Apparently yes. Alright, so we got our second hunting party, which we should split. Let's go here. This way. And then we can continue this way. If you learn nothing else. And there we you go. You could learn what killed them. So we have found now an ancient encampment, and we got a little bit of science and um, what's it called? Influence. Yes. Influence is what allows us to create our outposts. We pay with our influence, so uh, in that case we lose this uh, this resource. But once we start establishing outposts, we'll be able to start establishing. Um, our cities. So we have to be very careful where we choose to do so, because we can only get the most immediate resources at first. Much, much later we'll be able to expand. For example, if I were to go here, I would grab three food, two, um, two production from here, and then if you can see, I just don't want to move the mouse, uh, all of the nearby tiles are also collected. So you don't need to immediately start grabbing things, but instead... Uh, so you, you don't need to put citizens on those tiles, you immediately grab everything you begin with. The game usually wants to tell you of cool places like this one. Uh, if we go here, there's six food. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. Six food. And then a little bit here and there of everything else, especially in production, there's uh, a decent number. And if we go here, there's a lot of food, but somewhere else. Uh, there's a stone field. You know what? We're gonna get closer to this area. Ooh, that's another thing that elevation gives you. You are able to see so much further. So if we start here and we expand twice, we may reach this gemstone. Okay, um, what do we see here? It's a stone field, river, river spring. Okay, so actually a river starts from here. Oh, that's cool. Again from here. This tile is actually not that interesting, but this one is pretty good. Dry grass, river, waterfall. So maybe we actually just go here. I think I like it. We're gonna go here, yes. and next turn we're gonna establish our first camp. You, in the meantime, I think you will try to go somewhere else. Yes. We know that there are horses here, we may come back for them later, but for now, this is what we do. So, end the turn. My feet hurt. And this way. What's over there? We cannot get there. And this one. We'll be planting this. Alright, so in four turns, Saif, our first encampment, will take shape. And as we can see, no, we cannot see yet what all we are collecting, but we hope it's gonna be good. Wow. So the city is surrounded by mountains, which is pretty bad, but when we are in a defensive position, maybe we can leverage this to our advantage, because melee units won't be able to attack that easily. Very, very interesting. Right. Your scout comes to you, breathless from exertion. Between gaps, he tells you that he spied another tribe not far ahead. He leads you on. Then, after giving you a stop signal, you drop to your bellies and crawl forward in the brush. In the brush. Ahead, a young woman, no more than 13 summers, uh, is leading a ceremony. Her audience, a dozen or so equally young or younger tribesmen. Many are crying. When you see the bodies laid out, you understand that they are mourning. You know. You know what you must do. Well, <laughs> apparently I didn't know. Welcome. These children need care, shelter, we will be their guardians, and they will become our tribe. New army, growing tribe, next to hunting party. Chances of triggering another narrative event. That sounds cool. 
They could be sick. Uh, they could be sick or cursed. We will make haste from this place. Swift on tribe. All right, so I could increase the speed of my units or just grab a new unit. Grab a new unit. So where did this happen? Ah, yes, down here. Okay. Oh all right, all right. And they cannot move, and I cannot move. Got it. Yeah, idle army. I'm sorry, but you won't be able to do much. I guess I could go here. And now... Okay, I cannot split them now. Okay, got it. We are supplied, which means we regenerate health per turn. We are not veterans, we just have a normal strength. Okay. End the turn. Right. Another thing that is very different from civilization is your units may be composed of multiple armies in this regard. So you're able to move in a different way. Oh wow, we immediately grabbed enough for that. Very good. So let's keep moving. What we're missing a lot right now is influence, which usually should be a lot easier to gather. We will go there. Should we try to split? Yeah, good. Curiosity Collector. There we go. More fame, that is pretty good. And two sparks of intelligence, that's also good. We have not found any animals yet. That's a little bit sad. Ah, ah. Just as I was saying, I found the first. And let's send people there, and you can go this way. Okay, that path does not lead anywhere, and this one is complex. Okay, okay. I guess actually I prefer this a lot more. Wait. But, ah, oh, is that a tiny passage? Alright, I'm gonna... Trust? Yeah, I'm gonna trust the AI that's telling me the right thing. If not, I will be very sad. So, everyone, move ahead. Well, the AI was right. What's over there? So, let's rejoin and attack. So, normally, this would take us to... Uh, so, the other way. Normally I could just say instant resolution and my side is way stronger overall. But I'm gonna show you how the battles go. Battles... Uh, battles are fun. So not only are they tactical with this type of uh, encampments around it, you're also able to have battles over prolonged years, right? So it, there are rounds in the battle and they may last longer than one turn because it's too many rounds. However, since we are basically hunting and we are uh, two hunting parties, we can attack from above and uh, be very subjective. Opponent tries to kill us, but then they lose everything else. We just lost some health, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, what did we gain? Well, five stars, which is great, and uh, more food. Okay. So, the next... Territory could be claimed with 20 influence. Got it. Saif is still not ready to grow. It is time to end the turn. Alright. Someone has already finished their nom uh, nomadic tribe era. And it was not us. And I think it is time to confront something a little bit stronger. Fire be with us. Let's separate like this. And we will see how it goes. So you go first and attack. Together. Oof, that hurt. Ah, I'm not sure now. Are we doing this correctly? Let's see. Ow. You go first and attack. And I think. Heavily damaged, heavily damaged. We'll be losing a lot of health. Okay, so... 
what are my options? Defend? Ah, combat strength bonus. Yes, please do that. Ow, that hurt. But it also hurt them, so... Would you die if this goes on? No, good. Nice! Okay. Ooh, scary. Era star unlocked. The growth star has been earned. We have... Uh, so what happened there is the combat gave us more food, the food gave us a new unit, and with five units we have achieved one of the ways in which you can grow to the next era. Um, I think stars give you fame, fame makes you win the game, so that's as far as I could understand so far. The goal for the era was to unlock one star so that we could choose our culture. So let's do that. So our options are based on a known uh, on known civilizations. Uh, these ones have already been taken, so we will examine what else we can get. Raid masters can move more on land and uh, have more strength. More science per technology. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll be right back. Alright, thank you very much. There was just someone at the door. So, Egyptians. Grand planners, plus one industry on tile producing industry, minus 10% on this state industry cost. I really like this idea. We could even get Egyptian pyramids. They do industry, minus 10 stability, but three industry per adjacent markets. Maker's quarter, not the same. Um... Worker slot on cities, okay. Counts as makers, okay. And they could even get a unit, the Makrabata. They move six and the shoot three range. Damn. This is also interesting. I have a ton of food around me and a ton of rivers. So plus one food on tile producing food, plus one food on river. That's plus two food just like that. Canal network, oh. Um, plus three food, minus ten stability, plus three food per adjacent farmer's quartet. Counts as farmer's quarter, plus one. Okay, it is, is considered as a river. Interesting. This kind of really fits our starting area. So maybe we do a food based. Yeah, you know what? I don't want to try too hard. Actually, can we check? Can we check? Yeah, of course we can check. Okay, so understood, blah, blah, whatever. Let me go. There we go. Okay, so we certainly have a lot of rivers. That is not a problem. 
so we could make stuff on all of them. Uh, however, if I go with the Egyptians, I could turn all of this area into full-on production, including the gemstone. Ooh, I like that a lot. Okay, so I could make another outpost here, for example, grab the gemstone, and then make a, make a pyramids. Pyramid, pyramid, pyramid. Oh, that sounds really good. And I could even repeat the same up here. Pyramid, 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 gemstones. Ooh, yeah. Alright, let's think about that then. Go with Egyptians. So they like Maker's Quarters. Egyptian Pyramid. Okay. I like it. Let's go. So Saif is uh, still forming itself. Let us split these people. On. Onward. We move. Do it. Okay, we're gonna split. This guy will go this way. These guys will go this way. This way. And the same will happen here. Um, you are going to split next turn. Ah, the challenges of a young civilization. It's hard keeping up with the neighbors when they have the tired of the old one. Okay. Entering this era as the Egyptians then? No prizes for guessing how you plan to leave your mark. <laughs> Whatever game. In any case, we are now in the ancient era. We are no longer Neolithic. Let's split this army over here. <sighs> That's the thing that always happens. Um... When the era passes, things that were interesting are no longer interesting. And uh, they always caught me off guard. So now the interesting points are somewhere else. And I have to find oh those anew. So we will try hard to find that. What's in here? Game domesticable animals. That's cute. That's very cute. Okay, can you get there? Yes. Can you get one more? No. Saif is ready to evolve into a city. Is this where we want our city, though? Well, I dare to say yes. Let's do it. Alright, we now have a city. So this whole territory is now ours, which is pretty good. And we are able now to build on this surrounding areas. So what can we build? Farmer's quarter. This would give us more food. How are we doing on food? We currently have 16 per turn, which means we get uh, an extra person next turn. Okay, that's very easy. And if we make a Jitsham Pyramid, it costs a little bit more. Affinity bonus plus 10 stability after completion. Okay, so it kind of cancels itself out. Okay. So where do we want to build it? This removes one food but gives plus one to, uh, sorry, plus four to construction. And then we also gain one star. Well, it's interesting. If we, mer if we make it a farmers, we will get from one to two. That's not really that much. Yeah, let's go for pyramids. Feel like we're gonna build a billion pyramids so we need the next outpost to be very focused on production can we make one right here well why yes yes we can um it would cost me 10 and i would grab a plenty So in here I would get plus 6, plus 12, and in here I would get plus 4, plus 11. That's actually worse. So you are the winner. All right, then we'll have to find a way to exploit this gemstone. But we currently cannot. Uh, are these... 
sterile terrain. Ah, these were not rocky terrain. This is sterile. Sterile is bad. Okay, so maybe we'll be able to place something here. Um, like an industrial district of some sort that are not pyramids. And make use of it that way. The mountains. Oh, the mountains give four industry. So you, okay, you are building the outpost. Don't do much for now. And these people are now supplied, which means they'll be able to get uh, treatment to their wounds. Yeah. So let's get you here. Melee, Pathfinder, Damaged and Supplied. Okay, okay, okay. Um, we can ask to station this position until all units in the army are healed. That's a classic. And we will do the same for this as well. Okay. And we can finally research. So what research will we start with? Well, anything that allows us to mine, right? Artisan squad. Uh, specialist craftsmen, harvest nature, most precious materials, selling the best finds for a handsome price. So this is a marketplace level one, right? That's three monet per adjacent market quarter. Wait, no, that's not the same. Extract any luxury resource from the deposit it is built on. Must be placed on a luxury resource deposit. I see. So if I want to exploit the gemstones, which are luxury resources, uh, then I'm gonna need that. These are strategic resources instead. That's copper and those are horses. And we shall take them eventually. So, what are you doing? You are waiting a turn. Everyone is waiting a turn. Okay, we can wait a turn. Population gain, that's pretty good. And I guess we can attack. This time we will go for instant resolution, and we took some damage, but we won. Uh, the reason we took some damage is probably because we were on the low ground, that uh, usually gets you hurt. So maybe we could have done that better. So we will put that pe person to rest, and then we will go here. We will do the same. Instant resolution. Did we get anything? Yeah, five gold. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, let's try to get you back. And then you. Over this way. What is this play? Prayer Volcano Earth. Follow me. Instant resolution. Five gold. Got it. So, nope, that would take way too long. Are you supplied here? Yes. Uh, it's currently located in allied territory, and as such, will regenerate health. Okay, I think this will only last for this turn. So. And then Memphis opens the list. Uh, cannot be done without adjacent outpost. Yeah, maybe we should start with adjacency. Wait, we are adjacent, right? Just... We just have not finished the the outpost. Okay, Sharla needs two more turns. Got it. So I think I want to go in this direction as well. Let's see. By the way. What does the era want from us? Collect seven stars to fulfill the era. Seven stars. Ooh, three. Okay, all of them. Got it. So you need to have six districts, uh, own six territories, 600 influence, 12 population total, uh, and or units. Okay, that's important. Eight stars unlocked. Um, 550 money, the current three, four technologies, and si destroy six military units. Wow, that will be hard. Okay, we pass the turn, and we are ready to move on. Where will we go? I want to see what's over here. What is this? This is also sterile terrain. But you look different. Why? Dimension stones. I don't think they mean that in magic. They mean that in size. Like it also gives three industry because of this. I. That's what I guess right now. 
rocky field. Copper deposit, yeah. So the gemstones are there for money. That's usually what luxury gets you. Okay, got it. You go here and heal. I see another mammoth. Maybe we should put our armies together before uh, and then we attack. And attack. You, what are you doing? Are you supplied now? You are no longer supplied. So let's get you here and heal. By building an outpost, claiming territory is this easy. The trick, mm -hmm. of course, is keeping it. So we got the outpost. Knowledge. Now we can say outpost, attach yourself to Memphis. And now our city is bigger. However, the stability of the city is uh, the degree of control that you have. It will, if it gets too low, bad things will happen. Yep, got it. So describe to me what's going on. We have plus 30 base, plus 40 and plus 50 from being the capital. So 120. So technically we have 100 right now. Uh, stability is currently at 95. You will evolve every turn until it reaches 100%. Okay, expanding a city decreases. So the actions are only available when the city's table is sufficiently high. Alright, so we will have to find then whatever the next construction is, something that makes it more stable. Uh, pottery is not an example. We will see. We will see. We will find a way. Okay, so you, are you healthy? Yes. Let's bind you two together and get over here. Um, regarding you, you should get back here and begin healing. And then we have to turn. Hey, someone else made it out of the nomadic tribe era. Good job. Let's put these two armies together. Now we are three, and then we go to the mammoth. manual battle because I, do, I don't want any of my units to suddenly die because the computer did something wrong. Ooh, that's a very smart positioning by the mammoth. So I will get myself up here and then we will pass the turn. Okay. Alright, so you will go here but don't attack yet. First you go, then you go, then you go. Very good disperse damage. 20 gold, okay. It's not as good as I expected go. though. And we're ready to pass the turn. Another nomadic tribe. I never understood what this was though. Okay, everything seems to be in order and we don't have any civic. But the average of all our cities is stable, so I guess that is good. Um, let's take you guys up here. One more turn of resting will be ideal. You are fully healed, so let's bring you down here in this direction. And we'll bring you east. Niger discovered. You discovered the breathtaking Niger River. Understood. Um, well, I wish there was a giant shiny because I don't see it. Is it this? It doesn't say. As far as shiny rivers go, it don't see it. <laughs> uh, what happens if we get out? Anything more special? No. Okay. So, if we check out this place, is it worth grabbing the horses? We could go here, for example, to get a bunch of food, but no production. Hmm. <laughs> but we would get the horses. Um, alternatively, I could get the horses 
in four tiles. That's insane. Alternatively, I could go here uh, to grab all of this, then change maybe one of the river tiles and be able to grab this cave in the forest, which gives science. Kinda like that idea. Or we go here, turn this into a very good city, have access to water very close by, and get immediately the science, and get the science of the forces a little bit later. Maybe that is also okay. So I'm gonna split this guy. You're gonna continue this way. And you two will be exploring this north, so... Ooh, what is this obsidian? Uh, on all cities, plus 2% industry per obsidian, plus 4 stability per obsidian, wondrous effect on all cities. Um, you must exploit at least 2 and 4 of this type, current 0, and research patronage to upgrade the resource effects. Okay. Uh, does every resource have something like that? Yes, they do. I see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Market quarter. Okay, okay, okay. So it seems like the next one should be around here. Because this is a crazy position, right? Um... Okay, this one has two different resources, this one has only one. I'm worried about food. How are we doing on food? 11 and then 31 industry. Industry is really good right now. Okay, so we'll make pottery workshop probably after. Uh, this gives us influence, four per turn, which is very important. And we can do it in like two turns. And then, do you have movement? No, we are done. Okay, end of time. A first city constructed. Walls, roofs, an outhouse. <laughs> ah, the luxuries of civilization. Yay. Um, word of your empire has now reached the Nubians. The Nubians. Enchanted. Okay. Do you too believe that there is no sacrifice too great for the needs of an empire? All right, so we can offer improvements to our current stance, right? We're currently revealing the capital, that's nice. Um, I guess skirmishes in neutral territory may not immediately lead to war. Okay, so let's go for extra trading. Propose. I have something here that should be And they like both. it. They like it. What are these things? Um, a proposal I can sing the praises of. We accept. Okay. This calls for celebration. They are turtles. Okay, so they will create strong defenses on their borders. They favor defensive, and they tend to focus on relationships with a few chosen civilizations. So it's it's a good idea if we become the first people that they talk to to try to be for an alliance yikes I don't think we can pay for that at least not yet okay uh, on the bad news is they stole our staff and also oh no that's all but they did steal our staff and we have less attack power because we are hurt okay let's see well yeah. considering that I should go in a different direction oh my god School of them. Gold. So a city here would be insane. My god, I just want to grab all the land that exists. I mean, would it be insane? All I get is a bunch of gold. It is adjacent though, so how much does it cost? 20. I could do it next time. But I'm somehow thinking that I should focus on food right now. Actually, not sure. We had this very beautiful place for food, right? I think we wanted to go here. Okay, so that was your job, if I remember correctly. Come 
Okay, then you guys will The agrarian out. Harapans. Ooh. You're as likely to meet their canals and farmers as their soldiers. So, a thousand hello. welcomes. Greetings, sovereign. Cool headed. Do you too believe that Forgiving. there is no limit to how high humanity might soar? Capitalist merchant. Okay, so they they like You come to um, me with a proposition. Let us see. I have something this. here okay. that should please us. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use these people as our place to attack. Oh, wait. Is that an encampment behind them? Oh, I don't see anything there. You know what? I'm gonna try to attack. See what happens. I hope they don't take it as far. first battle. I bet you're absolutely dying to see how your fighters handle themselves. This is the defender's flag. This tag can be captured by both sides by moving a unit onto it. If the attacker controls at the end of an, any turn, they immediately win. Understood. Okay, let's go manual. And I guess that's good enough. Right, they deployed super far away. Okay. So let's get here. And should we flank or should we be together? I think we should be together. Attack. 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 Enemy does nothing and I attack. Win. Okay. Your population's war support against the Harapans has increased by 8. Okay, so people are happy about this. Uh, what if your empire has now reached the Harapans? Balance. Yeah, that makes sense. Anything else? No, I think it's all stuff we saw. Did we get, did we get anything for this? No. Pass. Okay, there's a sanctuary here. What does it mean? A rich, diverse habitat with plenty to sack. This is a breeding ground for peaceful wildlife who range the surrounding area. So we could also take this as an advantage. Would place a city here, and that would also lead to a crap load of things. I could also place it here, grab this obsidian immediately, grab the copper in two. Ooh, that's very interesting. So let's actually do that. Dismiss you. Who still has not moved? This one. Um. Oh, this is just an animal. Okay. These animals come from the sanctuary, so I could I could farm the animals here. I think I should just instant. Do we get anything? Five gold, very good. And then we just wait. We'll see what we do next turn. End of turn. So Memphis. The first pyramid is completed. Can you tell me, please? Um, 40 base value, 40 ideology. So base value increased by 10. And then the pyramids subtract 10 again. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we're currently doing the pottery workshop, which will finish quite immediately. These... Why do we get affinity bonuses? I'm so confused. Okay, so how are we doing on food? I feel like I need more food. But maybe we need to do this somewhere else? Like this would give me plus one food. That is basically nothing. This gives plus two. Oh no, it just turns the 2 to 3. Okay, that's... Ah, but of course, because it expands, it grabs uh, new tiles. Okay. Alright, that's another important thing. 
as long as I don't own the territory, I cannot get the adjacent things. So instead if I go this way, for example, I lose some work, but I gain four food. What if I did a pyramid here? I would gain seven work. Oh, wow, 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 the neighboring things. Okay, so I would only be exploiting the production from the neighboring place and I would even be losing one food. So if we go for this instead, we make plus four food, minus two construction. I think I can afford a minus two construction for now. This gives me almost nothing. Bit sad, but it's just a mess. Can I do the pyramids on the mountain? No. Okay. I could also make a pyramid here for plus 13 production on just one tile. That's just too good. I gotta do this. How about this one? Oh, it's... wait. Oh, oh, I understand. Because I own these two territories, I can expand this way. And I can make another copy of of the pyramids. That's why it's so effective. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Plus 13 production. This, that's just insane. It gets done in one turn. I don't know. That's the pottery. Aha. Uh -huh. Abilities reduce as cities get larger by building most districts. Understood. Then let's look at my idle armies. Off we go. Okay. I wanted to go here, here, right? Is here better? Is here better? Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. So plus fourteen plus eleven plus nineteen plus six. Yeah, that's just too good. I'm on it. That's what you will do. Um Oh, I was able to afford it by the way. Yeah, very good. I think the next one will be like forty I'm on it. influence. Just yeah. A bit more expensive. Mm -hmm. What are this? Mountains. They look pretty. Well <clears throat> what about you? You should probably return home-ish. And we'll see later. Oh, wait. There's an entire cool new thing here to explore. I feel like these things just spawn anywhere they want. Uh, I'm not really in control of this. It's not like terrain you already crossed won't spawn Off new ones go. of those, so even patrolling your own territory Over makes sense way. sometimes. I Follow think me. you guys should Over end up uh, home next turn. Another nomad finished getting out of uh, the tribe state. That's nice. So what are you? Oh, immediate hole oh, plus 10 research. Damn. And plus 8. Very cool. Animal remains, blah. And now we can have a granary, very nice. And finally we can have the artisan's quarter as well. It attracts any luxury resource. I did not want to move you there, but I guess I'll take it. It just happened. I actually wanted to move them into our territory back, but whatever. Yeah, continue going this way, I'm sorry. Very nice lake area. Oh, oh, this is enemy territory. Ooh. So we're already... Oof, kind of close. I think it would be very important to claim this area then. Ah. Complicated. Um, there's copper in here. My god, the, the resource distribution is so cruel. This territory has three resources, right? It has copper, it has gold. I can I can put 
a city here. Yeah, I will look into something like that. Uh, we will also close the border with our uh, Kerma allies, which we kind of want to ally anyway. But I would want myself to be the one to get the gold. And uh, there's a hidden strategic resource here. So what the game is telling us is maybe there's oil here, so pay attention. I like that. I think that's a good idea. In the sense of telling the player what to expect. So we are at 42, but uh, these guys are about to do this, so order your armies. Right. Now that we have placed this thing here, it will take 5 turns to build, that's sad. And what is this? Land Razor. Can set cities into Land Razor mode. All the money and science are converted into industry. The mode lasts for at least five turns. Okay. Builder affinity. Gameplay orientation focuses on the internal improvements or great feats of construction. Um, builder empires receive more fame when earning Builder Air Stars. Yeah, that makes sense. Affinity action. Land Razor. And set cities blah that we just saw and gains 10 stability when completing a district's construction. That's amazing. That means I can make districts for free. Basically, yeah. Okay. Then science. Bring me to the text tree. We are very interested in any science that would give us stability because we want to grow our cities. Fortification is not what I'm looking for. Garrison. Garrison gives stability. Ooh. Sustain district fortification. Base for flesh soldiery. A garrison also gives strength to those who fight in its shadow. Can be placed far from city walls. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So I could place garrisons in random places in the distance. Plus one combat strength in combat for units in or adjacent to the district. Okay. Alright, so that's one way to gain stability. What is another way? What's this? Forced labor. Nope. Stoneworks. I mean, forced labor will be very uh, Egyptian, if you ask me. Copper is the gatekeeper to the Bronze Age. Mm hmm. Forge requires copper. Oh, oh, it requires that we have copper and we gain industry per copper. Ooh, that's cool. So strategic resources can now be used for buildings as well. <laughs> Next upgrade, fort. Spearman. So I would have to start with city defense. Well, I mean, we we just actually made the place for horses, right? So maybe we go with this for now. Animal barns. Damn, I wish I knew how to get more stability. Stability is good. In any case, um, did anyone not move? How about you? Oh, okay. Then we end the turn. You guys can heal. You guys move in this direction. Um, and then you. You, oh, you only need 30. Okay, okay, okay. So, plus 2 plus 22, plus 3 plus 21, plus 6 plus 15. Actually, this was this is the most interesting so far. 617. Ooh. But then I'm super far away from this. Plus 2, plus 4, plus 7, plus 16. I think that's, that's the winner, actually. And because we own the territory, I don't have to worry about the gold. I'll just get it eventually. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. Let's do that. My territory now. continue exploring south or cross. Let's go cross. Hey, we got Hogger. Hogger is done in two turns and Alina in four turns. I have no idea why, but whatever. 
Can I actually see why? Is it just the, the amount of remaining? Yeah. Okay, so we have copper at hand and horses at hand. We will see what we do. And the turn population gain. Yay! Two enactable civics. Oh, oh, we are, oh, oh my god. Um, a first civic is available for you to vote on. Civics are made available based on the current game context and are voted or cancelled using influence. I only have 16 influence because I just founded too many cities. No decision has been made on this civic. Select it to display the choices offered. And the same for this. So legitimacy and founding myths. I see. That's cool. So they're kind of related, but not entirely. Okay, I want to see. Founding myths. By by what right do we rule? Okay, any of the two choices cost me 10, and they would bring me to different places. Okay. When voting, you can, but each path may affect the empire in numerous areas. Diplomacy, religion, economic, military, etc. Civics can even unlock new game mechanics. <laughs> Understood. You can vote. Understood. Plus three faith on territory. Plus five influence on main plaza. Okay. Natural right. We claim inherent dominion over the land and the beasts. Our supremacy is ordained for we are the chosen ones. Tradition. These choices taken emphasize doing things as they have always been done. No, that's really not me. Progress. That is really more me. Okay. How about legitimacy? What style of laws does the Empire use? Uh, oh. oh, this hurts so much to see. Yeah, I should have checked this screen first. Anyway, um, this brings us closer to tradition. Okay, that's interesting. So maybe we actually don't choose this way. Minus 20% on attach outpost coast. Ah, ah, on absorb city coast. Ooh, this sounds way better. Um, yeah, let's go for this. Just imagine. Once you discover writing, you can literally throw the book at them. Right. For the other, we need to do more things. The choices you make in narrative events steer your society ideology. Theology grants various bonuses depending on your current position on the axis. Plus 5 stability on all cities. And then if we get here, plus 10 science. Okay. Plus 10 stability, plus 5 stability. Oh. Oh, so staying centered actually. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. <laughs> so I actually made a mess. Because now we are down to 93. <laughs> Aww. I wonder what that arrow is. Territory is blah. Select to display a breakdown of the empires. Okay, okay, okay. Don't quite understand, but whatever. Alright, so tell me, how bad are we here? Um, 40, 35, 50. Oh, the, py the pyramids are almost done. Okay. My god, do we have that immense amount of industry? Is there even a point in having this guy here? Okay, it's six. Wow, damn. Ah, plus six per. Okay. Uh, well, I think making food is way more important. Uh, six industry is way less of a difference than eight food. That's like a 400% increase on our new population speed. And do I want money? No, I think I want more people. Give people. Okay, uh, we can build new things very soon. Maybe even when we attach this. Uh, right, though, we cannot build there first. Uh, yet, I mean. Um, plus three, minus one, plus one from districts. Four. Oh my god, plus eight total. Plus eight, 
2, minus 3. Okay, so this minus is involved, but no minus is here. Okay. Right, because I am expanding like crazy my territory reach. What about here? That's 5. And it gets me closer to the rest of the map this way, but uh, this way I can even maybe think of connecting later. Ooh, let's do this. So we will finish this pyramid and then we'll start on the other thing. Um, think, think, think. What about this? Am I interested in this? Can set cities to land razor? I don't do science anymore and I don't do money anymore. Hmm. I mean, the conversion seems to be one to one, which is cute. I don't think it's worth it right now. Um, so I ordered more food, but I missed what the granary could be doing for me. A storehouse for trash grain, blah blah blah. Um, next upgrade, grain silos, that's later. Plus two food per farmer, plus one farmer slot. So that would give me six food, but the current action is giving me eight food. So nope. That is not it. And the feast, whatever. <clears throat> okay, so. I think I'm gonna join... Nothing. Um, you will be healing until you're done. You will be going this way. Come over here. Okay. Alternatively, I could just turn this into a different city, right? There's, there's no need to make one mega city, I believe. Okay, units, make your moves. Urgent affairs require my attention. A new civic. Didn't I pass the turn? No, I didn't yet. Okay. By what right do we rule? Okay. Wow, we're going down to 85? That's pretty bad. See, now I'm confused. I gain 10 stability when completing a district's construction. But we didn't gain 10 stability. We're actually like way more in trouble right now. However, uh, if we drop below 90, we only just lose the settled status. It's it's not like we lose the city. Civics. Like maybe we need to come back from this because five percent uh, is not really a, a useful amount. Oh my god. Oh wait, it's this one is already done. Okay, so if we go this way, we get plus five influence. But with this way, we get plus three. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. So with this choice, we say that we are brought here by the gods. Sure. Um, we stabilize our city because we we'll end up at 90 and we start gaining faith, which I have no clue what it is for. It I seems love so. it. If the gods hadn't chosen us, somebody else would be standing here. Of course. Very simple. I agree entirely. Okay, so now that we're gaining faith, how are we gaining faith and what does it do? Um, is it here? No. No. Finish the movements by the army. Marker, marker, marker. Okay, let's just move more armies, see what happens next turn. I wonder what faith really does. One idle army. Do a good exploration. 
Okay, you did what you could. Population gain. Very good. Very, very good. So we are only going down to 90 instead. Okay. Um, our territory... Oof, what? Ah, okay, it costs 64 to attach. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, so... The farmer's quarter will take two turns, I guess. Yeah, two turns. And after that, we should make a granary. Because that's all we can do for now. We are researching domestication. That will continue. And these people want Greetings. to talk to us. I trust you are well. Grievance. Oh, I see. Um, we claimed something on their turn, I think. Uh, grievance is a cause for demand on or action in response to another empire's aggressive deeds towards you. Um, when grievance uh, war support increases, leverage or renounce them, but always think of the consequences. Understood, okay. Uh, the Nubians have claimed Pollux at your border. You made claim on Hogar, which borders the Nubians. Okay. Okay, so we could demand that they give Pollux, but uh, we could also renounce to it. Okay. Interesting. Uh, that's not what we want to do. We actually would like to go to trade everything. They seem to like it. And that seems like a good idea then to throw a proposed alliance. Yeah, that was it. What happened? Yeah. Grievance. They feel different about us. Did it work? Did it not work? Game. Both empires are at peace. Both empires are at peace. Okay. Ideological proximity. Tolerance. Oh, I guess there will be a lot more to evolve out of this game. So they already have horses, okay. And now we are pushing for the trade everything thing. Okay. I guess that's the best we can do. So trade everything is on. They forgave. Uh, okay, let's go again with the Nubians. The Nubians refuse your diplomatic proposal. So if I click here, I can demand that they sign the peace. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I am going to renounce to this. Don't let that bother you. And uh, okay, so they denied that. That's what I got to learn out of this. Okay, got it. What about other places? Nothing there. I'm guessing you're still healing, but you're almost done. Okay, so you can move. Alright, so the enemies are taking their places. I kinda like this because um, you you push out and then you can grow, right? So otherwise I would feel kinda trapped that we only have one city. Speaking of cities, you are a settlement. Ogar. Show me Hogar, okay. Uh, we could turn it into a city or... Understood. I 
see, so I could build stuff, but only for... Foo. Only for uh, influence, because we're not a city yet. That's fine. That is fine. Okay, what is Memphis doing? Farmer's Porter, yeah, okay. I gotta say, compared to Civ, the early turns are very heavy still. I wonder if this will keep up and be very heavy late game too. Um, let's move you here. So there are sanctuaries over there. What will you do, my friend? I'm, I'm just gonna start roaming the land trying to search for curiosities. I think that's a good idea. A uh, new civic, army composition. The first civic has been unlocked. Uh, civics, blah blah blah, the game triggers... Okay. Show details. So what could we find here? Less industry cost, conscripts, or professional soldiers, plus one combat strength. Well, the answer is neither, because I don't want to destabilize my city right now. Um, we could be attaching either of these, but they cost how much? 64. Okay, so there's some saving to be done. Fine, that's the turn. Over this way. A proposal for you. Think on it. Non-aggression pact. Ooh, I like it. Ah, a pleasant surprise. Yeah, let's do that. I like it. Accepted. With pleasure. Okay, you... Yes, sir. Explore this direction. See if you can find something good. Apparently not. Let's move this way. What is this? Tea. Okay. Lots of tea in this region. So a city here would give me two T's. And T gives percentage food and stability per T. Oh my god. T is amazing. Oh my god. Can I cannot be done with port without 40, okay. I do want to go upstairs, yes. You. We well, there's tea down here as well. Uh -huh. And the curiosity. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Eight science, ten. Ooh, that's amazing. Thank you very much. So we can now do horses. Uh, what does the city say to all of this? Animal barns. Cannot be done without enough strategic resource deposits. Yep, that makes sense. And Scout Rider is the same. Stability changes over several turns. <laughs> so, we would need 64 here in order to attach. We have 12 populations. Yeah, I guess we're going for that one, with putting everyone here. And we still have 46 industry, that's just insane. Okay, Farmer's Quarter... Oh wait, yeah, that's a, that's a true problem. Um, we were told we were gonna get Builder. Gains 10 stability when completing a district's construction. But then it runs out? What's the point of that? Like, I, I didn't know I was creating myself uh, such a problem. No, you know what? We're gonna jump down. Whatever. Whatever, game. Just show me what the result is. I think it will be fun. We will go together. Through it together. Okay, nothing there. Science. This time we're gonna do city defenses, because we have learned that 
um, garrisons can give stability. So, here we go. Okay, we ended the turn, and now, yep, we are falling down. Okay, so it's exactly as I suspected. We don't get permanent stability from a district, we just get instant stability. Which is very confusing, because... Is this stability permanent? Well, it doesn't say when, so it sounds more permanent, okay. How about... okay, Civic is still the same, get away. Okay, Memphis, what are you doing in the meantime? <clears throat> You're building the granary. Okay, okay, okay. How are we doing on food? 23. So, plus one population immediately. Nice. Armies, please move to your places. Let's go. Yes. Come over here. Um. Let's go. Do I want to ransack this sanctuary? I don't know. I kind of like it. I don't even know what's the point of having it versus not having it. And in case idle armies. Let's go. Go up here. No mercy. I mean, it's kind of interesting to attack this Come hunting party. But I think they will get to this place first, and that sucks. Well, that's okay. Try out going down here. Ooh, nice. Again, plus 10. So good. Next turn we can already attach. And attach. This is Sage. It's not the same as T. Okay. And the turn. Right. Supposedly, we drop down to below. No, never mind. We're going towards 80, I see. One second. Test, test. Okay, well, that's good. pay for this. I just don't know what happens below 80 and below even more. But we're gonna do it anyway. Or are we? I mean, it's cool to get horses, don't get me wrong, but should I go for luxury resources like the tea? Hey, this also gives stability. Okay, so maybe we should worry about this. How many gemstones do we have? Two. That's very interesting. What did I click? Oh my god, why do, I, why do I just click on random things? I think this actually ordered something here. Yeah, okay. Jesus, that was so scary. Okay, so... Um, cancel this. I actually want to see what would happen. So, we would just get plus 3 gold, nothing else. Does this cost... ability? No, but it gives me stability on completion. That's very good to know. Okay. So then, are we gonna attach this or make this into a new city? I think attach is the correct answer. Do it! Alright, so we have now more people. And we can make this the horse ranch. Horse ranch takes only one. And it will grant us stability for a few turns, which is cute. And uh, we will get plus three science. So maybe we change the order of this? Yeah. Uh, we, we just push the granary for later, because now we have 24 food uh, per turn. 
and I love gaining new people so fast, so let's go with that. Okay. Everyone move. Ooh. Right, because we are getting faith. So, pick the base of your people's belief. I wish there was a, a faith value somewhere, because I just cannot see that one. Polytheism. There's five faith per number of attached territories. So that's plus 15 right now. Or, or plus 10, depending on what they count. And this is population. Population may grow until who knows when. So this is long term, this is short term, but also short term I'm gaining more stuff, so maybe I'll be able to do more. Found your religion. Right, so this is how we opened a new area of the game, I think. That's just it. I have to accept that as it is. You control one of the two possible cities that you can simultaneously administer. Because two city cap is the basic cap. Blah, 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 okay. Tenets. Tenets are a representation of the principles and commandments of religion. Okay, one second. Mm -hmm. That you can unlock with religion uh, when your religion has enough uh, faith followers, I guess. Uh, each tenet has a specific gameplay effect that reflects its inspiration. The meter below indicates how many more followers you need to unlock your next tenet. Got it. Below uh, the name below the name of your state religion, you will find key information. The religious re religious leader is always uh, the empire with the religion. A state religion uh, controls the majority of its holy city, holy sites, whatever. But it's the specific districts that increase the faith of the affiliated regions in the territory that are erected. Okay. Followers that are inhabitants of a city that follow a specific religions. I think actually the text may have confused me more from what I can probably gather by just looking at this. Uh, I don't have holy sites. I don't have followers in my empire. Uh, we are the religious leaders of Egyptian polytheism. I guess that makes perfect sense. Uh, all the people of your empire believe in animism. Okay, so we currently do not have followers. Got it. And if we go to the tenets screen... Plus five faith. I wish it would tell me how much faith we're gaining per turn. I can't believe that information is not there. But we will see what happens. Uh, tier 1 tenet, tier 1 tenet, tier 1 tenet, tier 1 tenet. Okay, so they're all base tenets, I guess. Select that tier. Yeah, I understand now. So if we do this, um, I can have more holy sites and I get more money per luxury resource. Okay. Two food on coastal water, two food on lake, plus one max holy sites. Two industry on forest, two industry on woodland, interesting. Two stability on river. Oh, this is huge. Be in harmony with nature. Oh, this is huge. Steel knot. Plus one influence on mountain. Plus one influence is pretty big. Uh, science on strategic resource deposits. Yeah, that's cute. War support, I don't care. If I have experience on creating units on all studies. No, I don't care. So actually, ability is amazing. Jesus. Okay, we will pass one turn eventually and we will see how much this increases. One second. I'm getting cut pictures. They're always welcome. Okay, so... I mean, they know that I cannot get there in time, right? So... Let's run, my peeps! This... Sterile terrain, but there are elephants here, I can see them. Apparently they mean nothing. And so be it. What are you gonna do? Oh, how to explore this territory successfully? Who knows? I will follow you. And we had someone up here, super far away. And so we cannot cross that little water. 
Oh, perfect. CT defense reached. Researched, okay. Um, so we got extra gold, which turned into us researching. What? Okay. But yeah, now we can do garrisons. Pretty cool. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, so something gave me fame because I discovered Mount Roraima. Uh, what does this do? Movement cost infinite. You cannot go through, through this tile. Okay. Plus two industry, plus one vision range. With sheer cliffs and natural uh, spur discovered by me. Plus five. So if we control it, we'll gain stability, money, and influence. Okay. Follow me. Well, I guess we'll get closer. And because we discovered it, we actually got 30 research, which is actually what got me my research done. Okay. I guess we should go to bronze working next. Uh, is carpentry interesting to us? I don't think so. At least not as much as, as bronze working, of course. Okay, so what are we doing, Memphis? Tell me. Our stability is going down. Understood. A holy site is available for construction. They are key to producing faith, thereby gaining more religious followers for your religion. Holy sites, just like cultural wonders, are shared projects which can be built by several cities at once, speeding construction. That's very cool. You know what I love about this game too? You can choose to go wide or tall and still be expansive, right? So you don't need to stick to the ground when expanding. Uh, you can just grow bigger and bigger. But you can decide if they are all multiple cities or all part of the same one city. I really, really like that. So, Memphis, what are you doing? Artisan's Quarter. Why not the Horse Ranch? I thought we were doing that first. Okay, so we're gonna do this because it gives us a little bit of stability. I guess... If that's what you want, that's what should we, we shall do. Um, if I throw up Palisades, what do they say? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's it's part of the city. Okay, 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 okay. Got it. So we'll cancel this. Thank you very much for showing me. Animal barns will come later. Garrison. This is what I wanted to check. You can make garrisons anywhere. But they ruin the tile. And that's perfect because we know that there are tiles that are completely mega useless. Ah, oh, this is amazing. But we won't do it yet. We have good faith on our people. Uh, speaking of faith, did we gain any progress? Zero. So it may be very interesting then to do... Oh my god. That's new. Wait. So it may be interesting to do the holy site. And that is exactly this thing. Okay. Cultural wonder or holy site is placed. Okay, got it, got it, got it. We can no longer move the chosen blah. Mm -hmm. mm. Plus 20 stability. Yep. That we want. Okay. Let's not cancel this. Um, but I would like to make less money and gain more production. Yep, that is really good. So now this is only six turns. Where can it be built? Anywhere. Okay. So we could throw it like here, where we are unlikely to get quickly. Or is it important that it's close to our cities for whatever reason? Ha ha ha. I mean, I feel like here I could even reach, so I don't want to ruin that. This place cannot even become coastal. Yeah, do it. Do it. Uh, it says six turns, but I believe... Ah, it's because it got put, put first. We will do... Artisans, horse ranch. Okay, so horse ranch in one turn, artisans in the second turn. And 
then obelisk at eternity. I guess obelisk before the granary is interesting. Oh, the game got complicated. Um, can we finish the granary? No, with money I was going to say. Okay, let's do one step at a time. This is what I like, the moment I like in Civilization type of games, or 4X games. When you have so many options that you have to start considering everything you could make out of it. Now we ransack this place. I feel like the black player is gonna take this position anyway, so might as well, might as well take this. We'll get 22 gold out of it. Yeah, why well. not? Oh, the poor, the poor mammoth. Well, I say this, but I actually cannot even go back. Okay, so the land ends there. Let's just order them around. Everyone move. Curiosity collected. 20 gold. Thank you very much. Is there anything cool up here? Five gold, five gold. Very nice. Come over here. But then we didn't move there. Ah, oh, that's annoying. And nothing there. The same one still here. Yeah, and we really didn't want to enact any of them. Any of the two. Uh, but horses are now mine. Nice. And that also means nothing else. Okay, so Artisan's Quarter, we could make it in one if we had 80 production. That's not it. I mean, I could put all three for one turn just to get it in one turn. That's kind of funny. Ah. But the food, is it really worth it? Is kind of worth it. I mean, if I do it like this, it's, it's just two turns, and in two turns I get new people. Maybe it's not that bad. No, you know what? I just saw the correct answer to this. If we do it this way, um, in a few turns, I will get the granary, which allows me to make more food out of putting people here. So right now we are basically not taking correct advantage of uh, putting farmers there. Which means I could delay the granary and go for the holy site, which is really, really important because stability. And as always, we try to stabilize. Because we want to buy hogger soon and uh, we need, what, 180? 184, yeah. So it's not happening that soon, but it will happen eventually. Now, what about you? Zone of control. It will cost us more movement points, okay. But yeah, we don't want to attack their territory. We want to move around. What is funny? Trade routes. So people have trade routes already, and I don't know how to do this. What is an administrative center? How do I make trade routes? Good sleeps? <laughs> is it good? Nice. I wonder how to make trade routes. The entire crowd is these statues doing things. <laughs> that's cute. Being dressed up. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> All right. So where can you scout, tiny scout? 
I mean, this territory has two luxury resources and copper. We are kind of interested in that. Should we plant a thing? Not without 40. Well, that's not a problem. You okay in one turn? Anyone else idle? Okay. Ooh, an event! A melody for every occasion. <clears throat> in the teeming iconic city of Memphis, musicians are a celebrated part of the local culture with a long history in holy rites. They bring nobility to the religious rituals, jollity to palace celebrations, smiles to the sick and ailing, courage to marching armies, oh my god, they do everything, and distraction to the gods. Uh, alas, they're still too small in number, especially the good ones. And now word of their renown has reached across the empire. Lords, priests, commanders, among others, are grousing that their city deserves such artists too. How will you satisfy them? Ah. Street musicians riddle Memphis. Uh, they could help commerce elsewhere even if they distract learning. Parsimonos on Memphis for 10 turns. What does this do? Less enlightened citizens result capital... Uh, Result as capital earmarked for schooling and innovation is kept in the treasury coffers. Okay, so less science, more money. Got it. This one. 60 gold for 100 production. Hmm. I like it. Chance of unexpected consequences? Well. That was a good title of an episode. Unexpected consequences. <sighs> okay, we did it. So, what is this? One city is participating. Yeah, that makes sense. Memphis. In the end, we ended up with a 92 industry, which means we can remove two of these people and have some balanced approach. <laughs> Everything worked out. Another event? Yes. The Darkest Deaths. Miners and prospective miners are under kin from Memphis are afraid. Ancient traditions are strong and many believe that the mythical beasts of old legends are very real. Now rumors are rife that it was no ordinary bear that attacked hunting party, but a monstrous creature whose den is uh, the city's nearby mine. Many are likely to down tools without action. How should we respond to the rumors? I see. Okay, got it. Um, forced labor on Memphis. What does this mean? Minus 10 stability for 10 turns and 14 industry per turn. Jesus. Oh shit. Um, investigate. To satisfy the miners, we'll fund an expedition to thoroughly explore every corner of the mine. Who knows what we'll find? There will be festivities for 10 stability for the turn turns. I see. We'll play along and send in a mighty warrior who will sh uh, slay a sham chimera monster. What could go wrong? Also chance of unexpected consequences. This will lead to a random change in nothing, basically. So this one plane gives me stability and has a chance of finding something. This one gives penalty for a little bit of industry. Okay, let's investigate. Let's do the rational thing. Good rational thing. Finally, we can end the turn finishing the artisan's quarter immediately. Uh, just checking it out here, we are vying towards 70. So when we finish the artisan's quarter, 74. That is indeed correct. Wanted to see that. Alright, so science star. We are missing one technology, which we are researching right now. Builder stars, we need one more district. Population, we need two more population. One of them is coming very soon. The obelisk will take five turns to complete. And I think that is satisfactory for everyone. And what is this? To Egyptians, the Harappans have a specialist uh, interest in this place. Okay. Okay, so what you're telling me is that people will be aiming for this or that uh... no I think this is actually like an attack action warning so what will 
try better is to do um, oof, one one step at a time. Uh, we'll try to trade with them. Yeah, that's a good idea. A delight to see trade. you again. Uh, luxuries. Export. How does this work? Buy. So, what does this say? Naval transport costs 24, base price 23. We'll pay this and we will get what? First, you need enough money, blah blah blah. Once a resource is purchased, a trade route is created, will grant you access to the resource. Beware though, trade routes can be broken by change relationships or by being ransacked by other empires. Uh, to buy resource, use the buy button of the panel. Yes, that makes sense. Okay, and actually I cannot offer my stuff for them, they have to choose to buy from me. Okay, got it. Okay, crisis. I think I can renounce to this one. Today, okay. today I'm feeling forgiving. Shall we propose again? An alliance? Oh, poppycock. Well, that didn't sound great. Hmm. Is there any way I could determine if this would work? They have cordial relationships. Okay. We proposed a white peace to them. We renounce our grievances. We proposed a treaty. They are being absorbed into our sphere of influence. Okay, let's try again. What do you say to this appealing proposal? Well, that did not seem to work. Must I accept every vulgar proposition that comes my way? No. Okay. Fuck. I was a little bit rude, but whatever. I thought friends were cool. Over this way. Oh, there was a new temple there to be found. <laughs> plus 15 research and plus 10 stars. Damn, that's just so good. Everyone move and you, you are idle. I think I should really consider attaching any of these places. 2 foot, 23, 3 foot, 5 foot, 4 16, 7 foot. Six, six, five, three, two, two, two. Yeah, I mean this place is not great for food, but I can land the obsidian and all stuff. I think I'm gonna go for three twenty-three. I can expand it in all of these directions, I think. Do it. What does it want from me? Why is there an exclamation mark? Well, it's gone. Okay. And the turn can now be ended also. Off we go. Alright. Population gain, finally. Get a star unlocked. One of the agrarian stars has been earned. Which is the one yeah, the one about population. Ah, that's how it works. So I could grow in any of these areas further and uh, thus not having to do all the seven things separately. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okie dokie. Understood. Alina converted to a new religion. The people of Alina have converted to Egyptian polytheism. Hey, good job. Where is Alina? Alina doesn't exist. Oh, it's my own place. Good job, person, for believing in ourselves. Nice. Uh, on the bright side, we are getting plenty of this. Plenty, plenty, plenty. 
Uh, there's currently four people, no, six people doing Egyptian uh, polytheism. And uh, a lot of people still doing animism. Okay. <clears throat> oh, we are converting people here. They are converting in 10 turns. These are converting in 2 turns. And we will see what happens. Alright, these people have done a great job at scaring that. I'm gonna pass through Funi, see what the hell this means. Let's go. And then we will go back to this place because I kinda want to keep some defenses around. That would be nice. Uh, then there's you. Do you want to move? Yeah, you can. Just go visit this area, see if there's anything new. Um, next up, we could totally go for the leaves. For the tea, I mean. But right now, we would like to Over check this place. out. Animal remains, very good. The fact that there are two sanctuaries here is very promising. I'm gonna leave them up and maybe keep fighting the, the deer or stuff like this. I think that's a good idea to gain experience. I hope that's how it works, actually. Okay, we cannot pay for this Memphis yet, but keep building that super holy site. People will want to go to it, probably. There's an offer! I think you might find this interesting. Open borders. Accept. We need four more turns before we can propose something, that's fine. But I'm pretty sure they will be happy about our uh, acceptance of the treaties. Armies will continue their moves. Okay. All right. Follow me. All right. We'll be here. Then we will end the turn. Three more turns for the wonder. Order the armies to keep on moving, and then some people are idle. Follow me. Oh, nice. We found something. Plus 40 stars. Jesus. It was a ruined shrine. Okay. Got it. Having people roaming is amazing. I wonder if I should finally get my second city. I will make it stability based, maybe. I actually like that idea. Okay, so you go here. I think the city should be here also. Or maybe this one, because it's full of uh, production stuff. Yeah, that makes more sense. So what does it cost to make a city? 160? Okay, we can do that. We can, we can, anytime. Uh, the question is, if we were to expand, would we be able to expand? And I think the answer is yes, because if we capture this territory, then here, then here, then here, we have a lot of room. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, you got here. If you ransack this, what happens? Damn. 500 gold for ransacking this. But is there anything I could do positively with this place? Instead, trading post. Yeah, I wish you would tell me something. But right now, all I see is 500 gold waiting for me to ransack it. Ah, 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 people will hate it. Okay, okay. Nope. That's a good reason not to do it. Understood. Thank you very much. Come over here. Okay, it seems like we have to go that way instead. Over this way. Nope, we could have gone this way. I, You know what? I think I need to get used to this system, but uh, I could have clicked on this before just jumping into conclusions. So let's jump into this place instead. One more idle army. Let's bring you back. 
Let's have you roam the land. An event. A melody for every occasion too. Creating an institution dedicated to music in every city was an excellent idea. Performers produce refined, delicate compositions and many pay for the privilege to hear them play. Music is a serious, artful practice uh, carried out by trained adepts. The strict classical music culture is well established. Euphony. Music is a sacred art only to be performed by those with the requisite of learning. This modifies my accesses all around, but in the grand scale changes nothing, which is very decent. Cool. Very decent. Very decent. Okay, so we have three turns until the holy city. We can pass the turn. Hogar converted to a new religion. The people of Hogar converted the, to Egyptian, Egyptian polytheism. And that means that this place is probably a bit more influenced and we're throwing influence over here as well, which we don't even know correctly. I don't understand why is the border there. Okay, understand. And this place, okay, what will this do to them? Animism has the highest hold, okay. Just, I don't care. We will just go ahead with this. Go to tenets. Are we ready to do any new tenet? No, because we need 25 followers. That's quite a number. That is indeed quite a number. New grievance. What is the new grievance? Please to make your... A nope. Um... One of my armies at Funi got attacked? For real? Oh, oh, we are under attack. Understood. Uh, what's the attacking force? We do not know. Oh, okay. A runner? I mean, hey, I'll take it. I mean, we have two people here. End the deployment. They attack first. Very good for them. And then I attack. And uh, yeah, I cannot get there. And this will hurt me a lot more than them, right? But let's cross over here. I'm not fighting this much. Actually, let's defend for that extra bonus. Oh no, no, no! We'll go here. Come over here. We cannot defend anymore. Okay. Is it because we move? Yes. Okay. All right. I think that's working out. Then we we'll attack this, and then we defend. Here. The battle round limit has been reached. The battle will continue next turn. Perfect. That's very cool. That's honestly very cool. Okay, so what are you doing? Find places. Very nice. You found a curiosity animal remains. More research means I research next turn and more stars. Very nice. Even more. Old horde. Very good. I love doing that. Um, an idle army. So that one is going there. I think I want to start consolidating my armies a little bit. Is there no auto exploration army actions? Station, skip, regroup. Attack. Auto explore on off. Okay, so you actually go on on. And uh, we'll see what that brings. Let's end the turn. We are two turns away 
from our great wonder. Bronze working researched. This should give me stars. Yeah, it did. Uh, Fortune the fire crucibles. We can now exploit copper. For that, we can build a forge. Uh, which means a city will be able to get 5 industry per copper, so if we get multiple coppers that's better. Mega's quarters will be great to be adjacent to this, that we'll keep in mind. Watchtower gives vision range on garrison and main plaza. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And obviously it's pyramid. Investment from merchant. The Nubians invested in your obsidian extractor. Oh. That's great news. Oh, Nubians. What does this mean? Sovereign. Trade. Wait, what? I did not have an obsidian extractor there. So did the Nubians buy this for me? Just do that for everyone else? Oof, this game. Of course we'll have to learn everything about it, so we'll just take time. So we will need to attach a hogger soon, because otherwise we won't be able to grab the, the copper. But soon doesn't mean right now, because we don't need to lose stability yet. And stability is about to go crazily up. Because next turn we will go to 98. What is it? 98. Because we'll finish the obelisk of the gods, which gives 20 faith and 20 stability. Our first wonder. Okay, so what is this? Armies, complete your movements. Curiosity collected. Who did that? Okay, so it was just randomly on the way. Very lucky. Over this way. Very lucky. And then research, of course. We need to do something else. Let's do carpentry. Because... I believe, if I check here, uh, 7 research will also get us another star. Okay. And then something good happened. The darkest death. Unsurprisingly, no rabid monster was discovered, but something even more astonishing was found. In the darkest death of the expedition came across a gallery of rock art. Dozens of ancient paintings depicting animals both familiar and strange. The monstrous bear is swiftly forgotten, the frescoes catching the attention of all. Uh, who created them? Is this a sacred place? How you interpret this artwork will influence your people's conception of themselves. So we are gaining fame, we'll be celebrating for 10 turns, which gives stability, that's amazing. Uh, and that's it. Very cool. And then a battle is currently on the way. <laughs> So amazing of this game. Um, but one of my people died, so let's just finish it all together. Nice. I mean nice. We almost lost all the way. That's amazing. Okay. Do we get something out of this? Nope. Over this way. So let's bring you home and actually we'll first pass to this post. And we'll see what we do later. And uh, show me my wonder. Devotion and respect for oh, authority. Good. Just be careful of fanaticism. You achieved the following deed. Build a holy site. Yep. That deed we did do. The people of Zijban converted to Egyptian polytheism. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, wait, is this area claimed? Wow, the Nubians are growing like crazy. Is this my area? Somehow? 
no, it's been taken by the purple people. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so they have basically cut me off here. I sense conflict coming soon. I am guessing I should capture this area. I'm actually very sure I should do this. But before we do this... Wait, first of all, how much does it cost? If I go here. So I could go here in two turns and get it done. Or oh, basically next turn. I think I kinda want to do this because I'm afraid that they will claim it very soon. And then we can grab the sage here, no problem. And how much did it cost? A hundred, oof. But I think I need this more than I need Holgar. Even though it's a good idea. And you are here because... So yeah, you claim territory on our border. How about you accept our alliance this time? A proposal? Yay! Okay. A proposal I can sing the praises of. We accept. Okay, finally we are friends. This calls for celebration. No grievances between us. Oh, but the treaties, they got better. Cheap trade. Buyer benefits from discounted access. Customs union. The buyer is acquitted from any non-essential fees. The seller still gains the same amount of money. Good. Scientific agreement. Share vision. Open cities. It's so cool that this changes when, when you change your relationship with them. Uh, I'm kind of sad that Alliance seems to be the only level that you can gain. I guess it's between Zero and Alliance, I feel like there should be more, but uh, I am still appreciative of this. Tactical cooperation. The Empire's army can regenerate and pay for repairs in each other territories. Yay! Can beyond other sites city walls without penalty. Air vision. We could increase Empire. Units can be upgraded with each other's territory, then scientific agreement, and then money agreement. Okay. All very cool stuff. Also, we got a research done for whatever reason. Gladly, we'll take it. So, carpentry, what did you do? We can cut down trees. We can make a lumber yard, okay. And archers. A new research will be the irrigation time. That's two food on river. I know a lot of places that will be happy to see that. Public fountain. That's for some other time. Fishing, we are not ready for that. Masonry, stoneworks. Okay. Writing gives money and laws. Let's go for irrigation. Just food. Keep food. Okay, so if I do this, do we finish in one turn? No. If I do this, <laughs> we finish in one turn. That's great. Okay. So if that completes in one turn, the next one will be. Oh, that's just plus five food. Damn. Okay, this makes everything better. Jesus. Build, please. Uh, forge we cannot do yet. It's fine. Lumber yard. Forests and woodland. I don't think I have that much. Right? Like, this is not forest. This is rocky field. Rocky field. Yeah, I'm actually not that forestry. So we don't need to do this immediately. Watchtowers. <clears throat> I 
I guess a new district is in order, right? Wow, stability is going up to 100? What is going on here? Let's read. Um, stability as base value is now 32 only. Okay. Uh, plus 28 from districts. Uh, plus 20 from the wonder. And plus 8 from luxury. Yeah, that makes sense. Ideology is at 40. Celebrating. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Celebrating is the one that's really paying off all this right now. Okay, so I want to build things. But that will wait. So we got this old heart. Nice. Let's aim to go here. One idle army. Yeah, you. You will have to wait, actually, because we wanted this one to actually do its thing. So, actually, can you go here? Here? Let's go up. Hmm. That did not work out. Okay, sad. I wanted to say, hey, let's explore by going up, but it did not work. What do you want? anything you want nothing that you're telling me okay I don't know exactly what that meant Good. okay so what did we finish there the this right yeah. so now we can start getting people one per turn I think that's a good idea and the barn how about this how about this? Okay, no difference. So let's make ultra food. After all, we should be able to just propagate into all the other categories. That's the whole point. Big places. A minor event ask for your attention. Always a pleasure to see minor you. Minor event, please. Tell me. Is it treaties? Is it shining because they want this? The game doesn't tell me what I want to know. And that's okay, I will learn one day. Just not today. Curiosity collected, very good. Cultural conversion started. Habit will enter the sphere of influence of the Nubians in five turns. What? Right. Okay, okay, okay. So... Oof. So that's bad. How can I stop that from happening? Hmm. Also, why is it happening? Nubians has recently become most influential in this territory. The integration of its population will be completed in five turns. Territory owner has a 0% hold. So I pay the stars and then I lose the territory? I wish I had been warned about this. Um, is it because it's not annexed? I guess that could be it. Wow, this, this uh, competition is very fierce. Right, so if I actually had just annexed this instead of spending the thing here, it would have been way better. That's what they were telling me. Okay. Okay. Uh, still the cost is 164, right? 184, it got worse. Oh, my fault. My bad. And that will be a problem. Should I cancel this? Is this cancelable? No, close this menu. Nope, ignored. Oh. 
Off we go to learn more about this game. Resource sold. Access to your obsidian was purchased by the Nubians for 30. But just access, right? This is still mine. You cannot buy your own resource, okay. should go here for a while and you should get here Over this way. until you heal and you I don't know what you can even do just pretend that you're useful okay um one idle army Ah, yeah, we don't want to fight. Ah, so they took that thing. Yeah, that makes sense. Off we go. Get here, and we'll start healing. Yes, command. A new civic has been discovered. Religious rites. So influence is super important. Got it. If I go this way, we unlock procession. Spend some money in order to increase stability. That's nice. And then minus 30% on religious district industry cost. Yeah, that's not what I want to do. Uh, this one is very interesting, but I don't want to do it now. To we'll keep it in mind, absolutely. So what are we doing in Memphis, actually? Animal Barns takes two turns. Ability is super high. So very high. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're getting 23 influence per turn. That's very good. So you are idle. How about you walk around and find cool things? That's the turn. Okay. Alright, Memphis finished the construction of animal barns. No, it didn't because I didn't check something and could have saved. <sighs> could have put some people here and saved the turn. Okay. Uh, b -b 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 this makes more people make food. Okay. I mean, I'm getting another population next turn, so maybe I just keep doing this. It does seem correct. Let's go with uh, lumber yard next. Or is it time to make a quarter of something? For example, more pyramids. Hmm. For example, a farmer's quarter. Yeah, that could work. Plus six, minus two. I mean, it's, it's also river tiles and I'm about to make them better. So, minus two production is not a big deal, plus six is basically another citizen, let's do it. Then we can finally get this. That's the actual original goal. What is this? Administrative. This tile is occupied by an administrative center. I'm so confused. What does this mean? <laughs> Capital city... Oh, this one says the same. Okay, okay. Got it. Um, let's put you here, just in case. Stay there. And for you, let's, let's get up here. Nice. Off we go. So, the Nubians feel different about me. Why? Oh, Can you tell so me why? pleasing to see you. They feel bound to me. Okay, that's cute. The trust is stable. The alliance is good, and our trade is growing, I guess. So how about we go with customs union, maybe? Fair logistics? I don't know, you know what? Cultural agreement. That is the best. I have something here. 
that should please us both. Nice, they have agreed. Yes. We will do that. Everyone has move. There's an idle one. Yeah, we are waiting because next turn... Uh, I really wanted to attach Hogar, but I won't be able to do that next turn unless I magically get some stars somewhere. Oh, you know what? It could happen with this tile. Okay, all is good. In the meantime, T person, can you check anywhere? No, not really. Okay, stay here for a little bit. We'll get you your new outpost soon. It'll cost 110. Got it. Skip the turn. Let's talk. Keepers of the Creed. An unexpected rivalry has erupted between two temples in Memphis, each representing a different sect of Egyptian polytheism. One temple argues that religious matters should be left in hands of dispassionate men, while the other contends that only women, with their capacity for nurturing life, possess the necessary understanding for these affairs. These quarrels must stop before your inhabitants start fighting each other. Who should be the religious, your religious leaders? Men. We believe men are more qualified in religious matters, only men will lead the ceremonies. Women. We believe that women are better religious matters. They will conduct the ceremonies. All. All can lead our religion. Neither men nor women are privileged over the other by the gods or nature. Yeah, that's actually the science in me. That's what it does. Okay. And then this one changes like that. This one also changes like that. Have to be equal people. Equal. Memphis, you are at 98 stability now. That makes sense. That's 5% from units, so having units gives stability. That's good info. Now we can finally end the turn. End leaf. Okay, so how is research going? Irrigation, still six turns. News from the borders. Uh, we have been offered shared logistics. That sounds great to me. Accept. Accepted. With pleasure. And trade. I don't see what happened here. But whatever makes Let me happy. Oh. oh, I see. We are exporting. That is good news. So I'm making money out of this. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Armies move around. Curiosity. Yes, the 10 stars that I was mentioning. Hogar. Please attach yourself to Memphis. Let's begin a revolution of having way too many places. Oof. <laughs> Hoping that it's still a good idea. The question is, did the influence change over here? Nope. Converting to Nubians in one turn. That's evil, honestly. That is just evil. I am unhappy. Uh, what about this? 28 versus 40. Okay, correct. Uh, the worst part is this territory is mostly useless. The only thing it has is water. Is this anything? Algae. I guess algae exists as a thing that exists. But yeah, I I don't know what will happen. I am guessing I will just lose the territory to them magically. And that will be very sad for me. But it's bound to happen. Okay. And you. The cost is now 60 minimum. Okay. We'll take care of that. So idle armies, you will auto explore again. You will sleep until told what to do. <clears throat> Did this thing just really go left, right, left, right, left, right? That was the best exploration I've ever seen. Jesus. Thank you. Don't don't participate anymore. That's, uh, I'll handle it from here. Okay. 
Habit, converted to a new religion. Knowledge. Cultural conversion ended. Uh, Tabit has been added to the sphere of influence of the Nubians. Okay, sphere of influence is not the same as owning the territory. So Tabit is still very, very much alive. This is really good news. I was kind of afraid. I really needed to limit the border here. And the Nubians forgave a uh, grievance for oppressing my people, which I have not been doing. Sure game, whatever. Yeah, I guess one day we'll learn the meaning of oppressing your people. But hey, Nubians and uh, Purple are fighting. I am okay with that. I can see this, so maybe I should send someone to grab it. Interesting, right? How about you, though? Just take 20 turns, it's okay. okay. Who else is there? Um, I kind of like that you're stationed, but maybe we should go exploring. And you just move around and find out if there's anything new. What is the city doing? Memphis is... I thought it was doing nothing. I was scared. Uh, we have people on money and on science. Don't do money. Do buildings. Buildings are good. The amount of citizens that we're getting is just really cool. What is this? Adds artisan quarters to the construction queue of Memphis. Because they want to build this. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So actually we didn't need to be right next to it. That is good news. That means that uh, when we attach this place to another place, we'll just be able to capture things. Good, good, good. In the turn. Move the armies. We have idle armies. Nothing there, we can end the turn again, and what does Memphis say? Farmer's quarter in one turn. Yep, let's do it. Irrigation research, that's great. If we do flood irrigation plus two on river, that's gonna be so much food. And uh, public health fun time will give us stability. Very good. We didn't see that before. New grievance available, okay. But from whom? Welcome, a friendly. Yeah, not from you. from you. Attack me. Oh, I, I'm currently being under attack. Okay. Um. Well, I'll deposit myself over here. <laughs> Let's go. I guess I could be here too. And deploy. Me. So 20 and 21. Okay, so we will defend gaining a combat bonus. Oh my god, that went super well for them. Oof. What to do? <laughs> Run away. Yeah, that didn't happen the way I expected it to happen. Why did that happen? Is it... Is direction a thing? Can we try to run away? That a thing. We run away. So good. Thank you, thank you. Well run. 
One of your units has gained a veterancy level. Units acquire experience by fighting other units. Once a... <laughs> it keeps it when it's upgraded. Very cool. Okay, so purple is absolutely... Um, not staying friendly. Which is... I guess okay. Shall we do... What is the wheel? Roads. Ooh. That is interesting. Okay. Markabata. Ah, this is our special unit. Because we are e Egyptian-like. Yeah, I think we have to do this. I mean, it's the wheel. How can we not make the wheel? Do the wheel. Armies, move your moves. I'm on it. You Come should move here. around here. How are we doing here? Okay, that remains the same. And there's no other change. Okay. What about here? So, this territory is blah. The territory owner, Nubians, has a 0% hold. Jesus. Poor Nubians. I mean, it's their fault for claiming it. Um, yeah, and can we do anything with this influence? No? Didn't want to do that. I'm gonna dismiss this marker for now. Don't think anything will happen there. Okay. But we seem to be expanding our religion everywhere. Which is great. Great, great, great. Is there any other religion already? Or is this just animism? Yep. Very nice. Alright, we finally have the amount of uh, stars required for this, I believe. There are two peaceful something. What are you? Mercenaries. Did you really found a city literally on top of me? No way, right? So what is this? Barbarians? Ugh. Hey, you know what? No complaints. This is an actual target. Maybe there's something we can actually do. Um, why are you here? This is illegal. You realize that, right? Okay, so let's rescue our people. Time to gather up. Finally, something is happening. Let's get over here. And uh, you start getting over here. It will take 10 billion turns. But I do so much like that the movement speed is 7 million. Four tiles per turn is really good. Or up to four tiles, I guess. <clears throat> We're still celebrating, wow. Oh, no, we, we have stopped celebrating. Now we're going down to 62. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, we could also do a public fountain next. This is plus 15, that's very good. We could do flood irrigation after that, and maybe we should buy one of these. Wow, that's expensive. Okay, maybe we shouldn't buy one of these. But we can start with the copper mine for sure. Um, you will cross this area? Yes, great. Oh, something is happening over there. 
This city was founded by an independent people. They claim their own territory, but will not expand further and will in time decline. Select the city. To see how you interact with them. Okay. Oh, independent people. Paying money or influence for the patronized action will give you an increase of your relationship with this independent people per turn. Showing your support and strengthening their empire. With time, you reach thresholds that will unlock special actions depending on the na uh, nature of the nation, violent or peaceful. For example, you can gain their armies to hire um, by the resource, be assured that they will not attack you or share map vision. Ultimately, you may be able to assimilate them. Oh, that I like. Okay. I kinda did not want to spend something on this when I could have just installed myself there. But we'll give this a shot. We can go like this. I know that's a lot of money, but hey. I am so listening. Access to copper was sold. Okay. I have a proposal. Um, they want to do Accepted. customs union. Welcome. Good. And there's an event. The Walking Wounded. During the recent brutal battle, many soldiers sustained horrific life-changing injuries before returning to Memphis. For some, their whole character has changed, becoming aggressive, demented, or unable to bear others' presence. Others suffer physical wounds, some forced to use crutches or carts to move around. Among the citizens, fear mixes with admiration as they spy them on the streets. Your lead will be vital. How do you welcome your crippled soldiers? We can glorify them. There will be celebration again because of their great sacrifice. Or brave soldiers may not fight again, but they can still be useful tools for inciting military feeling. Which means uh, we can make cheaper units. Nope. Celebration it is. Celebration, stability, all things we want. I still have not seen the stability fall below. Actually, the tiny bonus of Builder seems to be working out somehow. Every time. Alright. So, where are we? We are making a public fountain. This will lead us to above 77. Okay. Uh, it's in three turns. Can we do it in two? Yes, we can do it in two. Very good. Who it shall be. We'll get a new person in two turns anyway. Is it in one turn if I do this? No. But it would be if I go all in. Yeah, but turns, they're important. Okay. So did we already pass the turn? I don't think so. Curiosity collect. Ah, oh, damn it, I didn't see what happened. Volunteers, just like that. Damn. Um, gather up. Scouts and warriors. So actually, I got joined by warriors, that's what it should say. And uh, you're actually on my territory, so... How about you calm here. down? Okay, we end the turn. They're actually moving away, that's very nice. I could still attack them, they're in my territory anyway. Let's Let's get here for now. Oh, look at that. Happy. 
Oh my god, I love this. The scout has Pathfinder, but not this guy. However, they are both pathfinding together. Oh, that's so smart. That's 20 gold, that's miserable. Okay, Memphis, what are you doing? Public fountain in one turn, that's good. Okay, then irrigation in three. Erostar, another one. Reach influence. Okay, that was pretty good. Show deeds. What did we do? Holy ground, yes. Discover a thing, yes. Build a wonder, train spotter. Eh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so the next question is uh, we have enough stars, should we turn the deep span into a city? We wanted to do this. Uh, we could continue expanding west, actually, that's amazing. So yeah, maybe we should do this. Because we wanted to expand then ourselves here, too. And you get here. No, you are trapped. And what's going on here? We're gaining influence like crazy. We could also give 40 stars and gain influence even faster. But this is okay, right? We're getting to a hundred. Yeah, it's okay. We could buy tea for 63 gold. I find this so weird. I'm gonna try it anyway. A first trade link. So many interesting questions arise. Barter or currency? Exchange rates? Tolls and taxes to fill your coffers? Should I kill this unit? I mean, they will be very close in combat, so... I'm not sure it's that easy. Alternatively, I could just go on. Over this way. Which I like. One idle city. Ah, yes, of course. So what are we gonna do? I mean, we certainly need food. So maybe we think of one of them here. Oh, this is almost no food. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Um, but one is recommended here because we only increase and gain more food. I like it. Good. It's a good start. Right, we still have that district down there. It's still ours. How's religion doing? Wow, it's expanding like crazy. This army is idle. followers, primes and viewers on big follows. Come. I will block you. Goodbye. Population gain, very good. World deed locked. Uh, Verwa Boland Scripta Manent has been locked by another empire. Okay. So someone else completed something. But we have a chance for a tenet. <laughs> I wish I could know how much we would get out of that. Because five money is also not bad. We don't have that. Forest and woodland is not that good for us. 
We have three strategic resources, that's 15 science. But you know what? I think harmony is the best. Do it! Yay! Cannot pick any tenant for now, assume... Okay... Does it say that... I don't think I could have started with a tier 1. Ah, no, never mind. Tier 1... That's exactly, that's exactly what it says. Okay, be in harmony with nature. And that means plus 2 stability on river. I would like to see what this means. Wow. Look at that stability everywhere. Oh. Damn. Oh. Where is it? I'm trying to find it. Mm. I. No, it's not luxury, it's not obelisk. It doesn't really say. Like, I see two here. Then two. Two, two, yeah. I wish I knew how high we are aiming right now. Well, I guess I could do the math. Oh, that's annoying. A hundred. Um, a hundred. Fifteen. 123, 139. Oh, wait, no, it's in categories. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, again, 100, 115, 159, 170, 198. It's my pluses. The minuses are um, 100. 98. So, oh, wow, we are exactly at 100 stability. That is impressive. That is honestly impressive. Okay, so what are we doing now? Memphis. Why is there an obelisk of the god thing to do? We can just throw another obelisk of the gods? Is that what you're telling me? I think yes. Um... Yeah, but can we have others? Because I, I don't want to spend my last one. It's still 20 stability, it's not that bad. Okay, so how about some infrastructure instead first? We could do this. It will give me a lot of construction, very good. That's a good idea. That's good. And I think it's a good idea to start doing this too. Watchtower. Where did it say it does? Uh, on Garrison and on Main Plaza. And we don't have many Garrisons, just few. Okay. Okay. And these people... So what is going on in the neutral city? We do not know. Off we go. But we're getting this thing. Animal remains. Okay. Can you go anywhere? No. Okay, then you stay here. Still asleep. And you, I guess, auto explore or whatever. An event. A game of prophecy. With the empire thriving, a new game hailing from a foreign land beguiles the population. Everywhere you go, distinctive game board and pieces catching your eye. Insisting on a public demonstration, you play the game under instruction uh, in your palace court. But the event has a, a sting in the tail. The game is reckoned to be a form of divination as well as entertainment. Gasps could be heard as the game prophecies became clear. You are fated to lose everything. What will you do? Silence! If this process spreads, uh, the results could be devastating. Every witness should be paid off. Minus 80 gold. Eh. 
Uh, let the people gossip. The prophecy will soon be pro proved false. It will be minus 5 stability for 10 turns. I think that's fine. We can go with that. And uh, we must listen to the divination and prepare for the worst. Superstitious in Memphis for 10 turns. So it's either minus 5 stability, which is perfectly fine for 10 turns. Or minus science. Well, stability. There you go. Bye bye. Okay, so Memphis, even if it was celebrating before, it's still going to 100%. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's just so much. So good. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's end the turn. The Nubian have reached the classical era. Ooh, so they have moved forward actually. They got three more stars already than me. With the Maya. Okay, got it. What stars am I aiming for? As soon as one player enters the next era, competitive star eras are unlocked for other players. Ah, so that you can you can catch up. This category gets passively filled turn by turn. Granting a new era star every few turns. Warning, you can obtain more than three of this era, but you don't they don't grant any fame. Understood. Okay. Yeah, but I don't think I will need that. So we are getting a new research soon. We're getting the gold one soon. And the population we can also gain soon. And one more district we can absolutely gain. Oh, no, it's territories. Okay, it's not district. It's two districts that we could do. Okay. Um, that's the turn and the first calendar. The invention of the calendar heralded a glorious day in the Empire's history. Now with two major cities and numerous farming affairs needing to be harmonized on the land, it is time to standardize this calendar. Traders must have an easy means of synchronizing their activities. By what means do you wish to track the dates? Solar. It makes me more sciency. Current effects then changes to more science. Yeah, and then lunar, the waxing and waning of the moon. This would keep me stable, but I don't care about stable right now. Honestly, plus five int sounds interesting right now. So let's be solar, come on. Be science. How much stability do you have? Okay, 91. So that's kinda okay. That's very good. To harness the power of water itself in order to feed your people. That should make you popular. <laughs> yes, irrigation is pretty good. Someone made a wonder. That's nice for them, I guess. So, how much food do we have now? Infinite. 38 food. Okay. So what are we doing next? The forge, that is correct. And the watchtower. Maybe we can make another maker spot there. So if we go here, we gain plus 15 production. Damn. I mean, I understand, yeah. And uh, we'll actually we'll gain stability from grabbing more river tiles. So yeah, let's do that. Watchtowers, push back. Forge, you're fine. Food, go here. We have actually maximum food people. Uh, maximum forge people, okay. Let's do the rest on food, and that seems good. I do have a want? proposal. Yes, do it. Scientific agreement, very nice. Where are you going? Okay, that makes sense. How is this city doing? 36, and we are plus 9 per turn. I feel like I should be saving up my stars, so we are keeping like that. 
Era star unlocked. One of the merchant stars has been learned. Yeah, that makes sense. It's the one about the money. Money, money, money. One more territory and we also get, get another star. So we could kind of push for it if we want. Access to your gemstone was purchased by the Maya for 90. Okay, I'm good at selling that then. Mm. I mean, we do have another gemstone here, so... Tevez, Tevez, you're not doing anything at all. How about you do stuff? So if I do this, they will both connect, but I will lose popularity, stability, sorry. And stability is already going to 80, so maybe I should not care. Um, but I do want to grab this. So, oh, I can help. I hate it. I didn't know that I could just grab it. Uh, so I can just click on gold. Oh, that's so infuriating. Okay, so I should have done that 10 billion years ago. Got it. I guess the same goes for Tevez. If we could do copper, no? Copper mine. Yep, now that makes sense. Okay, well, happy that we got it done eventually. And regarding you, just go back. Don't worry. New notification. The Maya forgave a grievance because I am oppressing their people. First of all, I don't know who the Mayans are. Is it you? You have my ear. Tell me no. what you wish. Is it you? Right, they changed it into the Maya. Oh, of course. All right. Um, there was one of these that we wanted to grab: a civic army composition. Yeah, this one. What will it give us? Stability, no. Influence on emblematic district. Okay, I don't know what that is. But it does okay. seem logical that people shouldn't have to do a job unless they want to. Uh, I feel like having procession would be a good idea. Oof, plus 5% industry. Let's go. Gathering, sharing, forming a community. Might I recommend throwing in a few feasts as well? Maybe. So I can actually tell my city to spend gold to gain more stability? How does that work? There. Uh, ah, okay, okay. So 60 gold is 10 stability per, uh, for 10 turns. That's very decent. I'll probably take that deal somewhere along the future. Fine. Okay, one idle army. Yes. Let's move here. Try to coordinate with this. We'll have our first army of four. Boom. The Harappans feel different about us. You come to me mm. with a proposition. Let us see what is possible. Pleasant, really. We were so close to being at war. You attacked me. I remember. Alright, so... I think I'm gonna stay with the people here. Because that probably gives me stability. Yeah, 20 from units. Very strong. Oh, okay. We got information. Uh, the thing is strained. This population is becoming agitated. Positive and negative events are equally likely to occur in this city. Um, it's between 30 and 90. Wow, that's a big range. But I think we can stay above 90 in this case by going to 91, obviously. Still, they know what to build, so I should not worry. And for now, just sleep. Events. Alarming tidings from Memphis, the heart of the Empire's most important breadbasket region. 
Uh, shepherds in the city surrounding the land claim uh, that wild beasts are killing the livestock in unprecedented numbers. They warn you that if nothing is done, you'll both lose a source of food and valuable pelts. What do you want to do? Guard. Dogs are used to protecting houses and palaces. High chance of good consequences. Okay, ignore. Nature is red in tooth and claw. Chance of unexpected consequences. Hunt. By coordinating the farmers, and the local garrison, the shepherds will kill this wild beast. Sacrificing on cities, on two cities for ten. Oh. Oh. No, there is no way we will do this. Just pay the twenty. Jesus, twenty gold is nothing. High chances of good. Go good. Memphis, what are you doing? And uh, no, wait. We made a maker's quarter. Where? Oh, don't tell me I was ridiculously dumb. Why did I not make a pyramid? What am I doing this maker's quarter that I am so afraid? This one here? No. Ah, ah, it was, it was somewhere here, I remember. Um, because it was gonna give us the... The rest of the river or something like this, right? Something like this. Uh, here, wait. There's already a district office in the place. So... Do I want to cancel this? Okay, what does this do in difference? Um, the pyramid gives an influence and three industry. This gives plus one industry only. Okay, we need to cancel. Super sad. sometimes. Oh, I'm so confused. What was I doing? Where was it happening? Why did you not tell me game? Why is this so hard sometimes? Okay, so this is minus two stability, but I wanted the pluses. This would give me stability back because of the river gains. I would be losing 5 food. No, that's unacceptable. That we cannot accept. Ah, what was I doing? Did I want to make one here? Maybe. Maybe I want to start going that way. Minus 4 food. How about the farmers? Just because no, it makes no sense. Did I make the gold thing now at this point? Yeah, why would we want to go this way? That's a good question. What am I trying to achieve? Um we make a food thing. We gain 17 food, Jesus. Maybe that's a good idea. finish the watchtower. Uh, this is stability 99, this is stability 91. Okay. And then this thing is already at 63, what can we do? We could buy more tea. But actually I wanted to do the tea myself, yeah. Um, praise. Praise the sun. So, when we are friendly, the armies can be hired, share the map location. What is the difference? You can assimilate this independent people. Good. Then that's what we are doing. 
Actually, we'll reach 90 exactly. I wonder if we need to do a little bit more than that. Um, gold access has been sold. Okay. We got a new star. I don't know which one. But we are one star away then. A new wonder can be claimed. Each of these distinguished monuments. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Build a new cultural wonder. Select any cultural wonder and see its details. If possible, claim the right to its construction. Uh, 20 stability, 100 fame. 20 stability, 100 fame. Minus 25% on district's industry cost. Okay, and then what? Oh, okay. Extracts any luxury resource from the deposit it's built on. Must be placed next to a river. Can only be built once. Blah. Mm -hmm. So actually, this is this is just plain better. The pyramids are just plain better. Uh, because this one even has to be placed on a luxury resource. I wish there was more information. Are they cheaper? What about this? Per five uh, plus five step per co religionist states. Whatever. Plus twenty faith plus forty stability. Plus ten food per co religion state. On capital, plus five percent food on the capital of empires following the same religion. Okay, so this one is a religious based thing, and considering I'm the only religious one, it's considered a holy site but does not count to us the holy site cap. Uh, oof. That's hard. I'm Egyptian, so I'm inclined to do this, but honestly, a little bit less cost on districts is not that good. This is 40 stability. That's just crazy. What about this one? You're in, uh, ignore movement penalties on forest. Yeah, that's Artemis. Um, and then also a bunch of stability, and then 10 health regeneration on units. Okay, that's cute, but it's not the same. Let's go for this. On hand. And uh, let's build it. So forget about this. We can continue doing that. Stonehenge. Where do we build you? Oh no. Wait, it can be built anyway. Never mind. I thought I did not check its construction requirements correctly. So I can make both cities build this, but the Tevis really needs to keep going what they're doing. Okay. Things so. change, even leaders oh, and okay. empires. I, got excited. I have a proposal for you. You so fascinate me. They want a non-aggression pack. I'll accept it. So, Akkad, how are you doing? You're about to tell me. I hope actually 90 is enough. Yes, 90 seems to be enough. Wheel researched. Um, perhaps inspired by the potter's wheels, wield a means of transport shrink the world. Yes. Roads. Automatically create roads between your cities and outposts and empires. Very good. Then we can finally make our unit, which is also strong. And chariot, which is also strong. Maybe we should have like one one. Era star unlocked. Ah, we finally did it. We finally did it. So, show me the cultures. Transcendence. Per perhaps you've developed a special bond to your current culture. Changing era without changing culture is called transcendence. You keep your current affinity and emblematic district, and to reflect the prestige of such a move on the world stage, every future fame bonus is granted a significant boost. This boost will uh, cumulative too and will grow if you keep transcending. Understood. So, okay. If I change, do I keep? The previous bonuses. 
I don't think so. Something tells me that is not the case. I think the best way to check this is... So, Maya... Oh, this is really hard. No, you know what? I think, I think I'll keep the past things and gain new ones. Alright, so I will just check on the major bonuses and see if I care about anything of that. Plus two per food, per farmers, um, combat strength when ransacking, cavalry strength, influence on emblematic district, plus two city cap. Oh, that's interesting. Um, stability on city or outpost. Nah. You know what? We are Egyptians. Transcend. Confirm. I'm not exactly sure of what I chose, but I think it's good. Okay, so I could gain more stars for more fame. But I think this turn may be enough. Um, peaceful. I'm wondering how can I just buy them? Like I was told I could assimilate them. Show me. Oh, it says here. Okay. Uh, 160 um, coins. That is two turns. That is a shame. Had I known, I don't think I would have done anything. Okay, what is this? Use reinforcements. Mm -hmm. What is this? Use the cost of civics, battering ram, barracks. Food market. House of Scribes, very cute. Stoneworks is probably a really good idea for me. Let's do that. Okay, but in any case, I think this was an amazing first turn, and I am going to take a break now. What an interesting game. Uh, I think there's a lot more to be explored. I love that they're trying to do things very differently from Civ, because otherwise you're just with a reskin and you cannot beat Civ at being Civ. So we will see how Civilization 7 responds to this game in the far distant future. For now, thank you all very much for watching and see you next time.